Uh, hello, welcome to part 6 of Erlang tutorial. In this part I will be discussing strings and uh, its representation in the Erlang language. So basically string is a data type used for representing text, for example uh, words or sentence. And uh, in Erlang it can be represented uh, two ways. One is to represent it as a list of uh, integers. And the second one is to use binaries. So in this part I will focus on representing string as a list of integers. And uh, um, in, in the future parts of this video uh, series I will uh, discuss also binaries. Um, after I will discuss it I will also maybe sh show some f uh, functions from uh, the st string module. Uh, so let's go to Erlang interactive shell and uh, let me define one variable maybe language and I will call Ar Erlang so this is the way to uh, define a string using the string literal so the string must be uh, wrapped with these double quotes in some programming languages you could also use the single quotes however it's not the case in Erlang you always need to use double quotes uh, and now uh, I will just press enter and my language variable will be uh, bind into uh, Erlang string and to demonstrate uh, it's the internal representation of the string I will type something like for uh, IO format and here I will type W and the new line. And this W, of course, the, the, uh, this part will be replaced with, uh, will output new line in terminal. Uh, and this, this uh, W will be replaced with my language argument. I'll press enter. And as you can see here, uh, interactive shell has output the following list. And uh, this list contains un Unicode codes uh, of the le letters or, or the character of the characters used in this string language. So uh, if I would type something like E, I would get 69. So this uh, dollar syntax will tell me uh, what's the uh, Unicode code of each of these letters. So I can now yeah make sure that this is really what was output? R, R will be 114. L is 108. And now um, A is 97. So it's over here. And then we have uh, N 110. So this is it. And we have also G, which will be 103. So as you can see, it was represented as a a uh, list of integers if I would like to output it uh, normally I could just type something like <coughs> s and then it would be uh, it would output the what's was the string value of it okay so uh, now I could also maybe try to do something like this using this dollar syntax and as you can see it uh, created a Erlang string out, out, of, uh, out of this now if I would uh, want to see some uh, more exotic characters uh, like Unicode, some Unicode characters I could type something like this 0, 0, BD and here I am place I am putting like Unicode characters so for example this and also 0, 5, 8E and uh, it will give me okay and I want to place new line here so it will give me some yeah like half theta and some other Unicode 
uh, character. So as you can see, it can handle uh, with the default formatting this kind of Unicode uh, characters. Uh, so this is it about the string formatting and representation. And um, maybe now I could show uh, discuss a little bit about this string uh, module. So I will demonstrate two functions. I encourage you to go to string module documentation and re uh, read and uh, check all the functions. But uh, for for uh, sake of this tutorial, I will just show the reverse function. So we have some string, for example, Erlang, and we want to reverse it. So you are invoking, invoking this reverse function from the string module. And uh, as you can see, I didn't have to import this string. It's, it's by default imported out of the box. And uh, after and this reverse, we'll return the reverse string. Second function, uh, second function I would like to demonstrate would be, for example, if I have uh, names and uh, <coughs> I have I would like to split the names. I have some, for example, Erlang, Python, and C. And uh, now the names is the uh, the string, which uh, I would like to split by comma. So I can type string split, and here I can type which string I want to split and what's the splitting character. Now if I will type something like this, it will only split the string into two. Uh, it will only consider this one, the first the first split character, uh, the pattern. Um, so I will get, get something like this. So as you can see, I have a, a, a list of two elements. One is this one, and one is this one. So I also need, if I want to split and have uh, all all uh, complete strings split, then I need to put here the atom all, and then I get the uh, three elements uh, in my output. So this is it. Uh, I hope it's useful. So thanks for listening, and stay tuned for other videos. Thanks and cheers.